Okay, um, what's going on? I, I've had a letter uh, in my pocket for over a week now. Uh, I'll show you, uh, well, I've run everything by the probation officer at the moment. Um, my probation's now ended. So along with that should be the antisocial angle coming from the landlords, which I'll check about in a minute with you as well. Um, because that should run from when the court decision was made until the court decision ended. So can I first check on that please? To see the date when Cross Keys um, angle of that finishes please to see if it ties up with the legal side of it or whether they're working outside the law. Yeah, it was done through the antisocial behaviour team. Um, they they withheld evidence for from the court. Um, so I was unjustly penalised and sent to prison. It was deliberately done. Um, and at the moment, I'm still getting issues from it because... Um, you know, they're trying to deny what was reported to the um, Cross Keys homes themselves through those complaint logs, uh, which is now uh, bringing into question my mental health, as though I imagined it all. And it, that the incident with the neighbour never happened at all. So I violently attacked him for no reason, is what they're trying to say, which is simply not true. Uh, that was back in 2018. But um, the angle that the authorities are still coming with is to do with mental health, as I imagine the whole thing, even though it was reported to the police and yourselves. So there's a bit of corruption going on because they're trying to protect someone now uh, denying that I was ever gassed, denying that I'm suffering from PTSD. So I want to know, you know, what's uh, Cross Keys' angle now? Are they still continuing with this antisocial thing, or has that ended when the sentence ended, which it should have done? Yes. I haven't got to the last of it because I'm still trying to find out about um, the antisocial behaviour dates on Cross Keys actual order, which is outside of the law. So I'm checking on that first. Oh, so, okay. Well, they are very uh, unreachable usually. I don't know if it's the same lady or not, but, um, Yeah, I know, I know. I know what you're saying. I've just going to take some details from you. So oh, right, more details. Today, and then I will pass it on to him. Just a few basic details, Mr Hobden, and then... Okay. ...in depth with the team, okay? No, it's... Um, Cross Keys wrote me a letter and said, since I've been convicted for it, uh, after they withheld the evidence from the court, the full complaint logs against the neighbour, where I was gassed and everything, they withheld that from the court. Um, so I was sent to prison for nothing, for trying to protect myself. If that evidence was made available, then it would have been a completely different outcome in the court case. So they acted corruptly and uh, not very honestly, I'm afraid, your company there. Um, so I want to know, when the antisocial behaviour thing stops with your company because they said it's for a year and I was sentenced for a, another year's probation. The probation's finished, so your order must, uh, you know, Cross Keys orders must have finished as well. So I'm just checking on that date. Just to check that. Okay, then. Yeah, because I'm getting constant uh, visits to my house at the moment for this or that. Um, and I'm not being left in peace. Yeah, we are carrying out some inspections at the moment. It may be that, Mr Hobden, we're inspecting all our properties for damp and mould. 
No, I'm uh, still waiting the mildew uh, thing. I'm still waiting for the surveyors to get access to the loft first before the solar panel people want to come and check in the loft. Um, so I'm being approached by a new angle now. Um, they, they've come around and done some of the painting, which I've started redecorating now as well myself. Uh, but I'm having to work around my disability. Um, the spare room, which my grandson usually stays in, uh, that needed treating as well. But I had him due over when they was going to be painting the walls or soon after that. So I couldn't really have him in there with his chest and breathing in the fumes. After I was breathing in the fumes in my own bedroom, it made me sort of quite lungy uh, over a couple of days. So... I definitely didn't want that in his lungs, so I had to cancel yeah. that visit. Right. Oh. Um, and I've started redecorating myself, so. Okay, um, so um, the other side uh, of it, I've now got a um, a letter from Cross Keys sent on behalf of your contractors um, wanting access to two more rooms to um, replace stuff that's not broken. So I presume that would be on council regulation contracts, will it not? Kitchen and bathroom fans. Mm -hmm. okay, so no time to the appointment, just AM. Mm -hmm. um, see in the letter? Uh, just says at AM. Uh, so no time, could be early in the morning, could be late in the morning, could be in the afternoon, could be sitting around all day waiting for them again basically um you know and it says kitchen and bathroom fans repair replace there's nothing wrong with them they both work they both work properly <laughs> so uh why do they need repairing or replacing i haven't put them down as repairs and they don't need replacing okay so, but regarding the other letter you said that you had in your pocket who was that from no this is the one this is the one i'm uh, actually talking to you about now so if they need replacing will that be under council contracts again under council regulations I don't know anything about that side of it Mr Hobden well, to the repairs team about that well that's it I, you know they're both working fine so I don't really need the appointment I can't say for definite if I'm going to be about on that date anyway because I simply don't know what's going on in my life at the moment I get appointments for the hospital, for the doctors, for this, for that. I must go to this, I must go to that. So I don't even know if I'm going to be here. You know? It's the extractor fans in your kitchen. Yeah, and it's got, uh, it's got silly wording on the letter as usual. Uh, please be aware if you fail to keep this appointment and we attend, um, the landlords may recharge you. Not charge, recharge. For the costs of the call out. Well, no one's called them out. I haven't called them out. So I'm going by that wording. It's uh, not a typo. It's specifically written that way. Um, I'm not being antisocial. I literally don't know if I'm going to be here if I've got to attend appointments or whatever or medical stuff. I simply don't know. So I can't say for definite whether I'm going to be in on that day anyway. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, wording letters like that is obviously going to get me to respond. Um, so I've responded in a normal, competent way that isn't antisocial this morning. I'm just querying the letter because I haven't called them out. So someone's called them out. What date was on the letter, Mr Hopkins? Date on the letter? What? Mm -hmm. Oh, when it was sent? Second, uh, 20th of the 2nd. Twenty first. Twenty first of this month. Of March. Yeah. And it was sent on the twentieth of February. But it's just the wording, it's the uh, you know, you will do this or we'll recharge you. Recharge me for what? Being antisocial? <laughs> what if I don't comply and uh Deliberately stay at home and miss any other appointments I've got to attend. 
You know, it's the wording is, uh, you know, you word those things for a certain reason. Um, and I'm aware why you do that, your company. You know, I've already said and complained about uh, devious, deviousness in contracts where uh, your company's been reaching into my benefits and taking what the hell they like and then telling me to my face that they can do what they want. You know? So it's not the first time it's, you know, these little digs and little uh, wording uh, things um, get by me now. They don't get by me at all. As soon as they come out and they're worded like that, then I respond to it. And I know all your calls are recorded, so, you know, I'm responding in a normal manner and querying the letter because I never called them out. And it definitely says here that they were called out. If you see my point. Someone to look into it, yeah. I'll ask someone to look into it. Yeah, so I can't confirm whether I'm going to be at home that date because I simply don't know that far in advance. I could have to go to the doctor that day or anything. I don't know. Mm -hmm. My health is an ongoing issue and I can't guarantee that I'm going to be about on that date. I don't understand where you're coming from. Okay. What I can find out for you. Yeah, no problem, but the kitchen fan and the bathroom fan are working fine. I even had the uh, problem neighbour standing near it the other day while I was in the bath, hoping that he was going to be able to do whatever. But instead, he was complaining about the dog crap and the dog barking because the dogs caught him going towards the front keys, uh, the front door, and the keys were left in the front door again, where I was on new medication. But the dog was right by the front door, so he started barking, and then... Uh, Crafty decided to saunter off after, uh, you know what I mean? Right, so I don't know why he's hanging right. about at that particular area right by the bathroom fan while I'm in the bath. <laughs> What's he want to smell my uh, human poop? Or, you know, while he's having a good old sniff of the dog turd, is he, what's he, what's he, what's he up to? Hmm. Yeah, he's, he's a weirdo, mate. I'm not having that. And now, now I'm getting... Uh, Checks on the bathroom and uh, kitchen fan and threats of recharging and, you know. <laughs> you see what I'm saying now? I've worded it to you like that, don't you? Understand what you're yeah. Okay. okay. All right, I'll leave it with you. Like I said, I'm not being awkward. I don't know if I'm going to be about on that date or not uh, because there's, uh, you know, there, there's obviously something in the background going on. And um, I'm quite aware where it's coming from. So uh, we will wait and see what actually happens. Because I've not denied anyone access to the loft. I want them to come and check the loft themselves. It's not been open before then. It hasn't been open since I uh, got sent to prison. Um, every other room in the property has been uh, inspected or whatever. Um, there's nothing illegal going on from this property. And I'm not being antisocial either. I've been awake since half past four this morning with headphones on, so he can't even complain about noises, even though he's half deaf. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. All right? All right, then, Mr. All right. Thanks for your call. No problem at all. Okay, thank you very much for listening. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, I'm charging my vapes up at the moment. And we got rain now. But yeah, you get what I'm saying in that call. It's the way it's worded. If you're going to charge someone for the call out, you charge them, don't you? You don't recharge. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> the fuck are they playing at? So, someone has been, by the sounds of it. Protecting their asset, aren't they? I was right. That letter's saying it. With veiled threats. 
So, by the bathroom fan, you heard all that in the conversation. There you go. Right, what we got on YouTube yet? Anyone awake in this country or posting new videos? Ah, right. Dutch Sense is live. Right, headphones are now unplugged, obviously. It's on computer. I'm watching the telly, so it's a bit on the telly. <sighs> I was gonna say, I thought that was very fucking quiet. And, uh, again, trying to try to pronounce anything properly is impossible, and especially at 4.30 a.m. my time. All right, 4.30 a.m. So we spread in Turkey. Over to the west. Why did we spread? Where did we spread? Well, look where we went to. Eris I don't know how long it's been on. I said I been on the phone, it. I don't know. But there we go. Your eye might be drawn to something else that I found in the area, which we will discuss at another time. Not saying how long it's been live, is it, on the rewind? Well, Usually comes up when you over to the go west, along that to line. The Why? Because that's a weak point. That's the weak point to the west. The wave it that I've been talking about in my oh, updates for the last point. 10 years. The wave is oh, watching. following the plate boundary. So the wave is trying to go to the west, and there's a volcano to the west. The wave has been trapped up in here, getting reflected back into itself with not much creeping out beyond over That's what I'm doing Italy. this morning. Is he in your spot again, Marnie? Up. Just get over him. Now it's going Up. to Romania, and it hasn't gone to anywhere in Romania. It's gone to eastern Romania. Come on, Where did over there. That side. No. Not enough room that side. Come over here. He's not your spot, you nickies. Get over there. That's it. He's stubborn. He won't move until you lay on him. That's it. Go on. <laughs> get out of my spot. Hulkster, get out. You stop Bacal kicking Marnie in a minute. On the east side of the S shaped plate boundary. It took a week for this oh, to hit. Distractions now, over. Look where it struck. It struck right down south of Bacal. I'm watching the ones going up right around here. that bit where he's just pointing at. So and right on the corner of the Normandy, I think it is. There's three earthquakes up on there waiting to come across the channel. Yeah, let's see if BGS is updated yet. While he's showing this bit. No, they haven't updated. Let's recap, guys. I know it's mind numbing information, but we have a bunch of deep earthquakes. We've got spreads of earthquakes. Yeah, it's got nine o'clock, so they're in the office and working, aren't they? It's dropping off earthquakes all the same size all the way along the way, spreading out and away from where the deep quakes are coming out. Now, I have to check off a few areas where we warned. Somebody wrote me from Sri Lanka. Do you even know where Sri Lanka is, anybody? Else? I had to go look it up, guys. Down here. South of Italy, or Italy, India. South of yeah, Italy, yeah. India. That's terrible. Little India. Yeah, that's the ticket. Now we're live. Where is my pen? Do I have a pen? I want to throw it and say the F word. There's a Sanskrit so, land bridge there, here, isn't there? Sri Lanka, which they said was fables. There, and then they found the out that there is an actual land bridge that was built there. Me. And they asked, are they going to get hit in Sri Lanka? And I told them... They've actually found the building blocks for it in the ocean. And a flowing river to your south of seismic energy. And it will go around you like a rock in a river. Now let me show you the rivers. The rivers are the plate boundaries, the red lines that I've been talking about in these updates. 
And right here is India. Here is Sri Lanka. Uh, that's it. Right. 